we're going to try to build this, so let me start by doing the flash. Where is the flash? The flash is a separator, don't confuse it with a column. It's a flash drum, so literally it's a tank which is going to be flashing this material. Let's change that to flash name. Now in order to connect this, you can right click and click in reconnect destination. Other way that you can use is to simply double click the arrow and then it will be selected. Now typically when you're using Aston Plus, you will see that these are red and blue. So red are the required inputs, or in this case outlets, that we need to add. Because this is a flash, and you can see this is flash number two, which means it has a vapor phase, let me add it, and a liquid phase. Even though you know, of course, if we're talking about air and you bring air inside this flash drum, there will be no liquid because the air per se will not have anything flashing. All will be remaining in vapor phase. Let me see what are the conditions of the stream. So it's very important, even though we just added this feed, Aspen Plus doesn't know this. So we're going to add the compositions. You can double click here or select here feed whatever you want so, and if it is at 25 celsius so there are several things we can change right here but at least two must be stated most commonly you're going to state temperature and pressure but you could add vapor fraction especially in hydrocarbon system if you want to verify flushing system you could add vapor fraction i'm not going to do that we're going to be defining this as we are given and the pressure is 2.5 bar. 100 kilomole. So this is the total flow rate. And interestingly, guys, if you go and add all mole flow rates here, what Aspen Plus will do is normalize all these according to 100 kilomole. So I definitely recommend you better go for the mole fraction way. Besides, we actually have these as mole fraction. So let's add this 0.3. 0 0.20, 0 0.1, 12, 12, 9, 7. So even though right now it's 1, if you add something extra, what Aspen Plus will do is normalize this to 1 because by definition in real life you cannot have anything above 1. Now as you can see, now our feed is fully defined and liquid and uh, vapor are now not required because Aspen Plus is assuming that we're going to have this input, uh, that we're going to add the specification of the flash, so then Aspen will calculate this. But if you were to add some data to vapor and liquid, maybe Aspen will try to figure out what operation is happening here. Anyways, not that common. What you will actually be doing in real life is setting up the flash. Okay, so let's go to the flash, double click, and ensure that we are going to be modifying the duty and the pressure. Double click. And stated before, guys, you need to state two variables. In this specific case, I'm going to add duty. Because flashes don't typically have a heating system. So, no, they don't have a heating system. They are just left alone adiabatically. And this is very important, guys. I wanted to show you that even though I'm adding zero, this doesn't mean that the flash is operating at zero pressure. This means that there is no pressure drop, meaning that, and this is very important whenever you're doing analysis, that this flash or this feed is 2.5 bar, the flash is going to be operating at 2.5 bar. Then if I change this to 5 bar, then the flash will be operating at 5 bar. So that's very important, especially when you are using uh, analysis tools and you are changing the pressure of this feed the flash will be changing according to this. But if I were to use maybe 2.5, this feed, if I change it maybe to 10 bar, it doesn't matter because whenever it enters to this flash, because the flash is operating at 2.5 bar, it, wasn't, it won't matter. And this is very important because typically we will be operating model analysis tools and we say, what will happen if we change the feed pressure? Of course, you know that for a hydrocarbon system, when you increase the pressure, most will go into liquefaction. But because we stated our 
2.5 bar here, even though we're changing all this pressure in this feed, whenever this feed goes into this flash, it will remain as 2.5. So that's very important, guys. Ensure that you select zero if you want to change accordingly to the inlet, or if you want to make it fixed, if you know that this operation cannot carry maybe larger operations than 2.5 bar, select 2.5 bar. Okay, and vapor liquid must be insured. It will be kinda tricky if you select vapor liquid liquid because we have only two outlets. So what Aspen will do is send all the two phases to the liquid phase. And let's see, let's, let's run, let's, just assume that we have everything whenever you have any doubt or if we haven't stated something aspen will tell you you gotta fill this but uh, as we don't have anything just click here okay run cross your fingers hope to the gods that everything goes fine and no warnings no errors that's awesome whenever you get warnings or errors is either regarding the software or the physical reality so maybe i don't know uh, flashing will go only as a vapor so aspen will tell you are you sure you're uh, working correctly because the flash idea is to flash or if you have something related to energy balances or material balances that doesn't check aspen will let you know now i'm pretty sure that you didn't get these labels and this is because i got them by default probably you got something like this so how, and this is very useful, especially when you're doing fast changes, how do you add those labels? Well, go to this flow sheet right here and you're gonna be in the flow sheet. If you are here, it's kinda hard. You can see the flow sheet disappears, but whenever you are maybe inside a form, go. sometimes it's kinda hard when you have plenty of tabs. So a little trick I use, well, not trick, but very useful bottom here, flow sheet. So just click here and you will go directly to the flow sheet. As you can see, because we are in the flow sheet environment, we are going to be able to select these two right here. Let's go to modify, go to stream results. And this is important. You gotta have run this modation. If you don't have anything run, then Aspen cannot add this. So once we run it and we know that we have, let's add temperature because it's of interest. Let's add pressure, maybe just for the sake of having it. You can add paper fraction, but obviously you know that this is a in between, this is one and this is zero because this is pure liquid. And because we're talking about moles, let me add mole fraction. Maybe you're wondering what is the volumetric flow rate of this gas, you can add it, but right now I'm not going to include it. So you can see here are all the specifications, just in case you don't know what units we are using, go to home and you will see that you can change this engineering units 77 or SI units which you know it's cubic meters per second newton per square meter I really like met cap which uses metric Celsius and bar okay so once again let's go here remove volume I just want to work with temperature pressure and mole flow rate so before we continue guys let's see what do we have? Why are they using here a membrane? Why are they using here a cooling system? Let's try to understand this. There are several ways you can get results. My favorite one is depending on what do you want. So if you just want to verify the results of this stream, go here, click right bottom, results. And you will get here. Now, as you can see, there are plenty of things, description, where it goes from, from the flash, where it goes, it's no destination, stream class, how much it costs, error, phase, temperature, pressure, a lot of things that are not that useful. What I want to check now is mole fraction and mole flow. So remember that most of the volatile gases will go as vapor. So hydrogen is gas, methane will go mostly, and methane will go mostly. And as you can see, the heavy hydrocarbons are very low. Actually, what I want to do is compare the liquid, well, the feed, the liquid, 
and the volume or the gas. This is awesome. So we know that inlet is 100 kilomoles, the liquid flow rate is 26.4 kilomoles, and vapor is 73.5 kilomoles. Meaning that this is a very uh, gaseous state mixture. We're going to lose uh, most of this, almost two thirds, as gas. One third is going to remain as liquid. Now, as you can see, this is much easier because I can go directly and compare where the 30 moles of hydrogen went. So most of them as gas. There's a little bit mixture in the hydrocarbon mix or the liquid mix. The same is true for the methane, ethane, and not so true for the propane. As you can see, there is a little bit more propane in the mixture. Now the same is true for this, but reversed. Most of this is remaining as liquid, 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 but exane. Exane is kind of volatile. Hopefully you know this by now at 25 Celsius and 2.5 bar, even though it's still a high pressurized system, some exane will be in the vapor phase. And just in case you were wondering what is the composition, so most of the vapor is hydrogen, and most of the liquid could be stated that this is exane ethane mixture. So almost one third, one third, one fourth, approx. So this way is how you read some results. Let's go back to the simulation. Another useful way to directly go and analyze the results of the flash is go here, right click, and here. If you want the results of the flash, click here. If you want the results of the streams, go here. So you will see this is a pretty similar view we have. It adds liquid and volume. Let's see what's about the flash. What do we need here? So the temperature remains 25 Celsius because this is adiabatic. We're not changing the temperature. So maybe you're wondering why if this adiabatic the temperature remains. Well, recall that this is essentially just separation of vapor and liquid. This is the vapor fraction. This is the heat duty. As stated before, guys, we have zero calories per second as duty. And the pressure drop is zero. See how here the outlet pressure is 2.5. That's what I was telling you. Because we stated zero, this is the pressure drop and the pressure remain here. If you want to verify the balances, mole balances, material and energy balances, you can do it here. Phase equilibrium, how much remains in the liquid, how much goes in the gas, and what is the K value. And what else do we can add here? We can add this heat and work duty. So right now it doesn't make that much sense because this is adiabatic, so Q will be zero, of course. But when you're using a cooler, or maybe if this was not, if we had a load, heat load here, that would be more interesting right here. Okay? So guys, as you can see, we are right now just in the flash. So the idea is also for you to understand why do we add a membrane? Uh, maybe you could, because we want to separate this hydrogen gas, this methane gas, and this is a mixture of all the other hydrocarbons. Why are we cooling? Because maybe we want to reduce pressure. If we reduce the pressure right now at 2.5 bar, what's going to happen is that some material is going to flash. Uh, for that, we need to decrease the temperature, so the, these are not that volatile. So if we decrease the temperature from 25 Celsius to 15 Celsius, we can ensure that moles will remain in the liquid phase. And then we can reduce the pressure with a bar from 2.5 bar to 1 bar. So probably you're wondering why didn't we add this here? Because then you will spend a lot of money cooling the hydrogen gas and the methane gas, which you already know they will remain as gases. Okay, so let's go. Now I'm going to be a little bit faster from now on at a heater. Probably you're wondering why are we adding a heater if we are adding a cooler? Well, technically a heater is a heating system, not only for heating. So let's add the outlet. This will be L out. L cool. Let's call it the same, L cool. So liquid cooling. So this is the liquid after cool, this will be the liquid cool. Let's add the specifications. Once again, you have plenty of variables. 
I just want to fix the temperature and zero because once again I don't want to have any pressure drop and the temperature will be 15 Celsius as stated here. Now this is very important to add vapor liquid because if we have only liquid only and there is some flashing you will have errors so I always go vapor liquid it's the safe way. Now we can run no errors, no warnings. <laughs>